The last of my parts showed up today, and that is clutch fan or fan clutch and a new water pump. If you're going all that distance, might as well replace everything now. We got it apart. Now let's tackle this bad boy here. And we're going to pound it right through. There we go, we got her out. Brake clean and a rag. It's going to be the fun part is trying to get this in evenly. Gonna need a bigger hammer, I think. In case you haven't already, make sure all your galleries are cleaned out. I gotta figure out which way. That's not the way. This one here goes. This one must go this way. Like the looks of that one bit it's actually too freaking long I'm gonna retry that yeah. maybe compress it a little bit oh no it fit my bad my bad we're good we're good I thought for a second what the fuck over one of them's too long but made it all work ah the end is near I want that to come off a little bit bigger than that. Let's just be generous here. Let's see if we can get this bad boy on. There's a sequence of torque it and I just saved it on my phone and put 35 foot pounds. Sucks. One of the bolts just fucking broke. Fuck me. Fuck. Probably fuck. I still got one on there. Probably broken broke off deep in the fucking block. Oh yeah. We're broke off flush with the block. Fuck me. I extracted it out and good thing I kept bolts from my CDU project because I got a spare one right here I'm going to use. It's a little bit shorter but it'll still work. However, I'm owning this one because I fucked up. I fucked up. You know, typical male not reading the instructions properly. So 18 foot pounds and then 6 and 7 are 35. Try this again. Shut the fuck up. Eighteen for pounds of torque. Get it started enough that I can put the bolt in and then. Tighten her up. Make sure you got the big washer. I wonder if they gave me the right bolt. That just doesn't feel right. Definitely is. Oh well. A couple more things I'm going to do tonight before I call it. 
an evening. Let me just see what time it is. I'm actually uh, right on schedule because I'm just going to stay out till like 7 o'clock. So I want to fight, get that power steering pump back on. And then tomorrow when I come out, I want to put the valve cover back on and then run all the wiring down and then try to get this side buttoned up. But let's fight. That's the second hardest job right there, power steering pump. I'm glad I put everything in bags and I labeled it. Because how else would you remember where these ones went? That's a 10 mil. The threaded one, like this one, goes in the bottom. So, all right. It's all over but the crying. Well. I got this one started. This is the one that's gonna take forever. Cause there's not much swing room. Oh, that only took about 10 minutes. Thank God that's back on. VCT, cam sensor, I'm calling it a day. I honestly don't know with the lockout kit if the VCTs will even function anymore. That's how things look like when you're working and craps all over the place, tools. That's how mechanics leave tools in your vehicle and you get free tools because they got shit scattered all over and they forget to pick it up. So things went ahead of schedule today. Tomorrow I'm going to come in. I want to get that valve cover in, tightened, all the coils back in, run the wiring back down to the bottom, get this side finished, and then I'm going to take the Friday off and then come in Saturday and then finish all it Alright, let's rattle this off. There's no more... Uh, DIY is being filmed here, so just a matter of assembling it together. Yesterday when I left the garage, I left it like this. So my goal today is to get the valve cover in, all the accessories on the driver's side, maybe the filter pulled out. We'll see how things go. Right now, I need to figure out where I'm starting with this. This is... One of the smarter things Ford done is this valve cover gasket. It's reusable. Like I said before earlier in the videos, my other ones were still good, but I jumped the gun and bought new ones just in case they're dry rotted. I didn't want this project uh, prolonging any longer than what it is. Uh, it looks all right. And there's two parts on the block again. That you gotta put some silicon. Line through the VCT. It's been hot as frig all day. Now the sky is getting black and the wind has picked up. I've been sweating my balls off. I really want to film some extra wrenching parts here because people like to see that. But fuck me. So hot out today, you just sweat. Just standing there. Let's have a look at what the hell is coming in. Jesus. Definitely rain to the west. Just using the bore scope to make sure the gasket hasn't rolled nowhere. Because if you guys remember a few years ago, when I did the valve cover on my BMW and the valve cover rolled, how many issues that caused. So I'm going to put the coils in and we're going to start electrical working from the back to the front. Work down. Just moving along. Plugging everything back together. VCT solenoid right there. This will go somewhere on there. This, what is this? Where does this go? I don't know where this goes. Mystery. Never mind. That one belongs up there. Push that lock in. Alright, now comes the fun part. Feeding that all the way down. 
to the power steering and for the low oil pressure. Okay, just a few more things for I call it our night. Almost got this side buttoned up. Got to do the power steering reservoir thing. It's going to be a nightmare. The um, the oil pressure connector on the back was kind of a pain in the butt. Had to do a reach around from behind the front differential and kind of have my hand going over the front of the axle to kind of feed it to my hand in the back so I can kind of like get my two little fingers like that and you know stab it in there. Got her in though. About any job is the satisfaction when everything is finished. I need the nut for that one. Put all the wiring in there. Actually, you could probably feed it around. I'm telling you, after you already got something free, it makes a world of difference putting it back together. Way less of a struggle. Something else that goes on there. Can't think of what it is right now. Looks like it fits the profile. It's almost motherfucking beer time. Perfect opportunity. Pull the oil filter out. Put a new one on. And now, put that little skid pan thing back on. And driver's side is completed. No better time than the present. Back up the power steering reservoir. Oh yeah, of course, yep. Gotta drop the bolt down below. Story of my life. If you guys never seen one of these tools before, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I just hope I got my camera adjusted so you guys can see. Crank that oil filter off. So much easier. Getting it from the top. That's right. You piss all over the power steering. Because that's what I think about you. It was actually cheaper getting the Ford oil filter and oil from Ford than it was to go through AMS oil. And you're actually only supposed to use Motocraft filters with this. Well, this is a relief. Whew. I think it's motherfucking beer time. All right, it's motherfucking beer time. Caribou, my favorite British Columbia beer to drink, except for Begabee Brewing. I'm gonna have to hit up Rebel Stoke to pick up some of their brews this coming year. All right, motherfucking beer time, everybody. Oh, a beer and a hot day sure feels good. We've had a few hiccups along the way. The end is definitely in sight now. Fingers crossed that, you know, everything's gonna go smooth. That would make my life a whole lot easier because I really don't want to be tearing back into this thing again. I definitely don't want to be. So, taking my time, probably a little longer than I should, double checking, triple checking, everything along the way. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully the next one we will be starting it, so motherfucking beer time.